And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Shivana Dragons. Going to be one of two donation decks. This one is going to be a deck that's going to be kind of like your Leona Aurelian Soul deck. Um, but but it's going to be different. We're going to be focusing more on the dragons with Shivana being a champion instead of Leona. Um, and uh, and you can see we're, we're really focusing on the dragons. We're actually not even really focusing on Aurelian Soul as much. We got three of Infinite Mind Splitter, three of Eclipse Dragon, two Screeching Dragon, two Fused Firebrand. So as you can tell, we're focusing on those dragons. Fused Firebrand Definitely an underrated card with that spell shield. There's just so many great cards in Targon. It doesn't make the cut in so many decks, but if it was in a different region, it would probably be in a lot more decks than what it is. But basically this deck, we're gonna have, so we're gonna have so many awesome, uh, more, you know, expensive units, right? Like that's what we're gonna be having here. So we have to play stuff early. We got our Solari Sunforger to try to help us not die to um, aggro as well. Just a, a great card. But we're going to be playing a couple Grand Plazas um, to be able to give all those things plus one, plus one, and Challenger. Make them even better. But then since we're playing um, Targon, we're going to have access to all of the great two-mana spells. So not only do we have the single combat in Demacia, but we're going to have Pale Cascade and Hush and even a couple of Guiding Touch. So we have 11 great two-mana spells. So even though we're not going to be playing stuff early, we're going to be able to catch up because we'll be able to play these other things and then have these great two-mana spells with our spell mana later. Um, we'll have a couple of Mobilize also to try to speed up our deck just slightly. And then um, some a couple of units to play early with two Egghead Researcher and three Solari Shield Bear. So we'll give this one a try. The person that made this deck did say that they've been doing really well against scouts lately with this. So we'll see if we get that matchup. All right, so we're playing against Fiora Shen, or Shen Fiora, depending on which one you want to say first. Either way, it's an amazing deck. Infinite Mind Splitter is great against Shen Fiora, but will we have time for it? Who knows? We're going to see. I'm going to keep it. Uh, we'll keep Grand Plaza into Shivana. This card should be really important in this matchup. Now, they'll have Concerted Strike to take down Infinite Mind Splitter, but besides Concerted Strike, that's kind of a boot it. Water changes but never breaks. Ugh. That's too bad. They get to draw a free spell. That's too bad. I would have much rather seen Fiora here than River Shaper. <laughs> Confront. What a terrible spell. <laughs> That's one thing about Shivana. You have a worthless, basically worthless champion spell. If only her, if her champion spell was just Strafing Strike, that would be much better. So I'm certainly assuming they want to play Riposte. End them. I guess I do force them to have Riposte, and I get Riposte out of their hand. And I guess it doesn't even kill my Shivana, right, because the plus one, plus one. So yeah, this is just worth it all around. Get a barrier out of their hand if they have one. From the river folk. Yeah, it's just worth it. Alright, so the River Shaper was a draw two. Drew two spells. I didn't like single combat Fiora right there because they could have sharp. They had the two spell mana. They could have sharp sight and turn their Fiora into a five five. I know that only trade, but whenever we have like the ability to challenge and everything, I'm not really too worried about the. Yep. So they did have a sharp sight. I'm not really too worried about that. Um, yeah, that seems fine. Not really too worried about that. Fiora from like leveling up and killing me and everything. Cool. 
Do we get a single combat out of their hand for a Pell Cascade? That's definitely a good trade for me. Because this is Shivana leveling up as well, which means my other Shivana will be leveled up. This will be quick. Yeah, like this is a great trade for me. Now I take to the sky. Trading two for three. And we level up our champion. Everything I've worked for. Okay. So let's see. I could just play another Grand Plaza out here and have two of them, but... Nah. Um, next turn, we're going to have six mana. So if I want to play Strafing Strike, that costs three. That means I do nothing. Basically nothing this turn, and then, like, Dragon Siobhan and Strafing Strike next turn. I could do, like, an Egghead Researcher. I'll just pass. I'm just going to save mana. Man, that's a fast pass. This will be attacking for eight. And it's still going to be kind of difficult for them to play any other unit because I have this strafing strike. So yeah, it just basically makes it so they don't get to play anything that turn. That's pretty crazy. Yeah, they're they're done. Shivana's pretty good, and that will be a win for us, and that will put us to diamond. Finally, for this season. So back over to diamond, and now we'll work on getting towards Mastiffs. Beat Chen Fiora twice today. Yeah, beat Chen Fiora twice today. That's that's never easy. This could be tough. And I'm not talking about, like, Scar Grounds making their stuff tough. It could just be, like, legitimate tough. Mm. Channel point prediction is up. Currently, what I want is the our two mana spells, not Guiding Touch. That's probably the worst of Guiding Touch is probably the worst card in our deck, but you know it, it can certainly be useful after our dragons kill stuff. But our, so like Pale Cascade, Hush, those kind of cards, and then also yeah, our, our one of Judgment would be really nice to have access to in this kind of matchup. Single combat. That's the other two mana spell, by the way. So yeah, that would have been a good one, too. Pass priority. Do it. Yuck. I'm going to just play this over a Screeching Dragon. Screeching Dragon would be a 5-6, so it would be able to kill an Ancient Yeti. Um, this is a little bit easier to kill an Ancient Yeti with the Spell Shield, so like through Troll Chant. It's a little easier. Because they could have Hush. Like, Hush would stop Troll Chant with the, the Fused Firebrand, but Hush would not stop, stop Troll Chant with that thing. Oh, great. It's true, the Plaza does make Fuse Firebrand look even better than what it is with just the raw stats of the 5 mana 5-5. Five five. We'll be able to play really until next turn. So if I 
I could challenge here, and then that puts him to three with Pale Cascade that's not lethal still. I'll just challenge over here. So you use Pale Cascade to save my dragon. Right now, so my dragon takes one, so it goes to seven. This takes one and, you know, gains two, so, you know, seven power. I'm going to try to save my dragon, because I want a lot of power in play for my Aurelian Soul. That's my my current plan right now, is to play Aurelian Soul next turn and have Aurelian Soul level up. Let the flame Couldn't tell if that plan is going to work or not. That's the current plan. I do play Aurelian Soul, I have three of these dragons die. Where instead I could go like Star Shaping, Pale Cascade, keep dragons alive. Yeah, Mind Splitter would keep these from blocking. I would still have three things die. So I'd have just Mind Splitter and. I guess I, I, could, I could go Pale Cascade and save something if I go Mind Splitter. So yeah, this makes sense. The strong take. What's up, Judgment? There we go. That will be game. We are 2 and 0. Oh. Okay, so yeah, Gucci said go hard nerf kill the play rate. Well, that's that's not hmm. That's not something that you can really make a definitive statement about it 3 hours after it's been nerfed or whatever it's been. Like it hasn't even been a day. It's it's very like, just, just think about, like, yourself. Like, let's say if you were, like, playing Go Hard, it got nerfed, would you want to play it immediately? Probably not. You probably want to explore and play other stuff. Maybe you come back to it. You know, it, it's going to, you know, like, it'll, it'll come back and everything like that. But people want to explore and everything. That's that's the case for every single nerf. If there's, if you ever have any, like, it doesn't matter that it's just Go Hard and what happened right there. Just think if they had any announcement where one specific card is nerfed, do you expect that card to suddenly see, like, do you expect that card's play rate to drop a bunch in the next three hours after it's nerfed? Obviously, like, that's that's 100% going to happen. There's no other, there's nothing else that can happen. I don't even know what we're playing against, but I just mulligan those two because I ran out of time discussing that. Um, and so, no, like, because pe people think, people, you know, hear the, the word nerf and think... Okay, well this isn't a, this isn't good now. That's what that's what people um, associate the the card nerf with as as like unplayable and stuff. But that's not the case. Go hard is, is certainly still playable. These old eyes still but see you're gonna have to. Here. It's gonna take time for people to to go back to play. People are gonna just um, try out a bunch of different things first, and then kind of see what the meta game looks like. And, and go hard will be back, but not within three hours. Yeah, I, I don't expect to play it against it against it at all today, and that's okay. Like that doesn't mean that doesn't mean that it's like not playable or, or anything like that. Like that's that's just how life is. Like I don't, I don't expect to see it at all right today. Light. Just isn't the time for Solari Sun Forger. I wish I had more units. <laughs> I want to have more units with, like with this mobilized, but I don't. 
they could pass me to me and have me waste all this mana now. That's fine. This slower game is definitely good for us. Safeguard our homes. You cannot sway me. Our land. So basically, what I'm saying is you can't you can't take away big gener generalizations by just play rate after a few hours. It's when a card is changed. Same thing kind of on the other side. Right, whenever a card get buff gets buffed up a whole bunch. You know, like if a card gets buffed up, like if you had if you had a patch notes where you just had like one card like a, a Braum gets buffed. You know what? You're going to see a ton of Braum decks right away in the first 3 hours, right? Like they're going to be everywhere. Everybody's going to want to play it. That's just how it is. And that's okay too. And that doesn't mean that like Braum, you know, like people may like do that and be like, "Man, all I've been playing against is Braum today. It's way too good now." That's not necessarily the case either. You know, like, let's see where we're at in two weeks. Patience. Nine, nine. Fight or die. Our hand's just fine. We'll be, we'll be fine. So I'm glad not Sejuani. Sejuani would be annoying right there. Radiant strikes. I don't want a single combat, but we do have another Solari Sunforger. I'd probably single combat the Trindomir and just turn that thing into a 9 9. I guess we don't need to do that. <laughs> yeah, Mobilize is looking uh, pretty unplayable. I mean, you know, like we have two Mobilize. We're never. I'm. I don't think I'm ever going to cast and mobilize. Right, like that's that's all right though. Uh, but yeah, I'm never. I don't think I'm ever playing. I'm not planning on casting that card. I was hoping that they would play like another thing, attack with a bunch of stuff, and I was going to like you know judgment with the Solari Sunforger. That was my plan. No, I don't think they're necessarily stream sniping. I don't think so. thing. Lightning. 
Let rage fill your soul. Hmm. Hmm. That's gonna be scary. Yeah, that, that Colon Strike was pretty pointless. To be fair, they're probably not going to get any value out of the Colon Strike, but I agree it was pretty pointless. Okay, they conceded. I was... I, I think I was not going to block there. Because if I if I blocked and then they went another Battle Fury, I was taking lethal. I think I was just going to take the 17 damage. And then my plan would have been to use Living Legends to look for an Obliterate card for the Trindomir. I think that was my plan. I was really worried about another Battle Fury. Burn, baby, burn. Jinx Draven Inferno. Burn, baby, burn. We don't need to keep Screeching Dragon with a Challenger whenever we have the Grand Plaza, and everything has a Challenger. Single Combat is the card that I want the most. That would be the best to, to have with this Sunforger, where I can challenge something with a Sunforger, and then also Single Combat do two things while I have the Lifesteal. Plus, we're not going to be playing things the first couple of turns, so we may need that spell mana. Oh, we got two Nexus healing cards. That's good. A little nexus damage here. The people are my strength. The strength of the sun and my faith are one. It does mean I only take two damage, so I go to thirteen. Oh man, never mind. I am glad I played this to block. I'm very glad I played that and not the shield bearer. So I'll, we'll play one Guiding Touch here, of course, and then I'll still have enough mana for Judgment next turn. So they didn't discard their Elusives. They discarded Jinx? So they wanted to just kill that and then open attack with all of these things. That was definitely their plan. Morning, take you. All right, what card do they got? Hmm, I guess we'll never know. That's a four and O. Oh. Good job, Solari Sunforger. Thanks for keeping me alive. 
All right, back to Fiora Shen. That was the first deck that we defeated today. Or Shen Fiora. We'll see if we are lucky again to be able to defeat it a second time in a row. We have not played against Scouts at all today. No, none of our nine games have been against Scouts. This is our third game against Shen Fiora in the nine. I guess this is ten games now. This is game number ten. So three out of ten against Shen Fiora. Zero against Scouts. Only one, maybe two Zoe decks? River shaped the land and gave it life. You're in over your head. What form will the waters take? I serve my people. Go, go, Shivana. That doesn't really fit. There's some furious hands. Flame with those claws. Like, imagine, like, trying to just, like, you know, act, like, open up a can of soup. Right, like you're just you're just actually just trying to just open a can of soup and you just have this, it just melts away and the soup just like gets all over your kitchen counter. It'd be so sad. You'd be like, but 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 my soup. I guess I play you. <laughs> That's true, the so the soup would be hot already. <laughs> Sorry, the soup would be hot. You would not have to warm up the soup at all. That's true. That'd be a plus. So yeah, I played the Screeching Dragons so that we could turn on the uh, Pill Cascade. Uh, Nightfall. But that's too bad. Dragon blood, Demacian heart. Break them. I guess I could have done the six six on the, the five two. I'm just kind of willing to make the. I'm just willing to make this trade, and I just want the Shivana to be as as good as as possible. Hush only turns their screeching dragon into a four five, so it doesn't save that. So I'm currently down a card, but I have Grand Plaza with a bunch of awesome stuff. So I'm still feeling very good about this. Infinite Mind Splitters should take over. Like, their only answer to Infinite Mind Splitter is Concerted Strike. And they have currently played two Concerted Strikes already. I kind of want to just play Egghead Researcher. No. Nope, stop. There we go. Her light is our sword, her womp, our no, we just play this. We just keep trading. Fine trade. The more we learn, the less we fear. Cadrogen, the infernal. So I pass, they pass. Let's see, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They can draw another card. It's probably I pass, they pass.
anything. This is worth it. Multiple bright steel formations, huh? Multiple bright steel formations. The balance requires a watchful eye. So the Shen levels up. Our wills alive. We still have four mana. How bothersome. So Repost does ten damage. If they repost Shen here, that does ten damage to me. Can you not hush something that's hushed? Well, I guess you learn something new every day. You can't double hush. Huh. Learn something new every day. How about that? Well, it didn't it did let me there. I hushed the Screeching Dragon before, and then they put barriers on it, and then I hushed it again, and it did nothing. The second hush did nothing. Like, this this Screeching Dragon should be dead right now, if that if my hush did something. Of course, they probably would have reposted the Screeching Dragon, but... Um, yeah, that was weird. Alright, so I can play two units to attack, and that, that just makes the most sense to play the two units to attack. Shining gifts from the challenge. I think it makes more sense than not playing anything, than... Obviously, I could just attack here, and it's, it's lethal, but, you know, Concerted Strike or Single Combat, it's not lethal anymore. We're going to force them to have multiple Concerted Strikes slash Single Combats. Slash Blockers. Water changes, but never breaks. We'll just play something over the Fleet Feather Tracker. Okay, that's what they needed. Well, they still only have two blockers. As constructed, they still only have two blockers. Do they have another single combat? I mean, I guess we'll find out. They had to play like a blocker over the tracker and then whenever I attack single combat. That's what they had to do. But they didn't do it. Alright guys, we're making this whole ranked thing look pretty easy, I guess. We have two Grand Plazas in the deck, and I think that we had Grand Plaza all five games. <laughs> right? Like, I think we did. I think it was just every single game we always had Grand Plaza, and we always, like, had a good hand and curved out. And there's only two Grand Plazas in the deck, because you don't want to draw multiple, right? You just want to draw that one. That one that we had every single game. <laughs> Um, yeah, so that, that worked out really well. Uh, I think that, I think that we got pretty lucky with our hands. You know, I wasn't even mulliganing that much. I think our, our hands were very good. Mobilize didn't really seem necessary, but that's again, because of how good our hands were. Um, that was really weird with the double hush there that last round. I thought you could silence a silenced unit, but I guess you can't. I don't know. I don't know what was supposed to happen there that last round. Um, but that wasn't what I expected. That's for sure. Uh, let's see. Everything worked out pretty good. The Mind Splitters were, were very good. You know, playing three of those, especially against decks like Fiora Shen, is always a good choice. So, yeah. Basically, Shivana was an all-star. I would say that, like, you know, compared to Leona and playing a bunch of, like, smaller Daybreak cards and Leona and stuff, um, that is pretty good. 
but it wasn't nearly as good as what Shivana would was. Like Shivana was amazing. We just had so many games like where we played Grand Plaza on three and then play Shivana and attack, and it's a six six challenger. And then you know you maybe use a single combat or get in combat one other time. It levels up. Now suddenly it, it's you know like a you know huge you know like seven seven that's making those strafing strikes. Shivana was amazing. But yeah, these cards are great. Pale Cascade, single combat, hush. Can't go wrong with any of them. All right, but that's Shivana Dragons. Another very good deck here. Y'all can try this one out and let me know how it goes, those of y'all on YouTube. I always love seeing those comments. Please, please leave those comments. Um, if you try the deck out yourself, let me know how it goes. If you if you don't, if you just enjoyed the video, let me know. And uh, all that kind of stuff. I love seeing that. that. Um, let me know if you, uh, if you have other decks that you want to see on stream you know i'll be happy to play them um but that's it here for shivana dragons so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video